Hello everyone, a very good afternoon and welcome to the latest instalment in Home Choir's unique choral alphabet. Uh, today E is for Eisenhofer and I really would appreciate if anyone out there is a more accomplished Google scholar than I, if you can find anything about Franz Xaver Eisenhofer other than his dates um, and the fact he wrote a whole load of music for Male Voice Choir. Um, his date, 1783 to 1858. I haven't been able to find so much as a portrait of him. Um, as the Wikipedia article doesn't exist. He's a bit of an, a, a mystery, but there's no mystery about the beautiful music he's left behind. It's a gorgeous little piece today, originally written for Male Voice Choir, Manus Core, um, but arranged by yours truly, I say arranged, I just changed the key, uh, for us to sing together today. So it's, I believe, the first time it's been sung as SATB. It's a really sweet little piece. It's 20 bars long, folks, so it's perfect for the choral alphabet, and I hope you all enjoy it. Um, so I see we've got lots of people chatting away. Lovely to see you all, and uh, let us just check that the sound is all working. Good, good, good. Do with a little bit more of the piano. It's a little bit on the quiet side. Good, okay, do we have the lovely track? Here's a little bit of the uh, choir. very sweet this one i think you're gonna like it folks there is a score of course in the description it's a link to well it's home choir's own version um if you are involved in um face-to-face -face choirs and you like this piece you think you might want to take it along for your musical director well do send it with my compliments if they prefer a slightly better laid out score because i have to say i didn't didn't labor too hard upon uh, the score just to make it uh, just quick and easy for us to sing if people do want to sing it put your con uh, choral conductors in touch with me and i'll send them the original files they can tinker to their heart's content but it's a really nice piece i think you're going to like it a lot um oh i'm checked the acoustic there we are, marvellous. Okay, good. And just to warn you folks, my voice is not at its best. I am currently suffering somewhat from whatever it is that Katie brought home from school. You know, sometimes kids bring all sorts of things home. Sometimes they do cookery club and they bring home a little thing to share with the family. Sometimes they come home with a beautiful piece of art and craft that you can stick on the fridge. And then sometimes they bring home the lurgy. And uh, Katie brought us home a hefty dose, a king-sized dose of the Lurgy. So poor Anna has been suffering from it. Um, Bobby had it. I thought I had escaped. No, merely last in line. So if the voice is a little bit under par today, just I'm sure you'll uh, you'll understand and you'll be suitably gentle with me. But I think I'll be all right. I've had paracetamol and um, a, a metric ton of coffee. So uh, just be warned. I, I might just be moving too quickly for the camera to keep up. Now, how is everyone doing? As always, I'm going to welcome those of you watching us later on. Thank you, all of you, for coming along and enjoying Home Choir. Particular hellos to anyone who's joined us in the last few days. If you're a new subscriber to Home Choir, well, welcome. And to the uh, around 25% of people who regularly watch our broadcasts and haven't yet taken that leap, haven't yet clicked the subscribe button, if you wouldn't mind, just maybe make today the day. We're well over three and a half thousand, which is fantastic. And now our next target is 4,000 subscribers. So why don't you make yourselves uh, one of those? Uh, if you wouldn't mind, just click the red button. It'll turn grey and you'll make my day. Uh, hello to everyone who's watching at the moment but isn't in the chat. A very special hello, as always, to Helene and Bill and Val in California. Lovely to you, folks. I owe you a, a couple of emails, so I will reply to you very, very soon. But just please bear with me. To say it's busy here bit of an understatement but all very exciting folks and I'll share with you uh, all the news that's fit to print just as soon as I can. Uh, saying hello of course to Sue and Tony and Sally and Annie and Maureen and to Anne and to Linda and Charlotte and Nikki. Hello to Val, hello to Katie, hello all of you and then hello dear friends over here nattering away lots of lovely people saying hello. Uh, thank you so much for all the kind messages and kind words. I hope I feel better soon as well. <laughs> I'll be fine. As a wise lady said, ach, I'll be grand, so, so all, all good. So how is everyone doing? Let me see. Who have we got here? 
Good afternoon, Artie. Hello, Alison. Hello, Carol. Hello, Carolyn. Hello to Christine and to Terry. Lots of love to you both. Hello, Christine. Hello, Colette. Hello, Dave and Jill. Uh, hello, Dorothy. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Epi. Hello, Hilary. Uh, hello to Gloria and Gina and Glennis, who will be along later on, I'm sure. Hello to Jackie. Um, hello, Jean. Hello, Jen. Uh, hello, Jill. Hello, Kit Kat. Hello, Kitty. Hello, Marion. Hello, Marie. Hello, Michael. Hello, Mike. Hello, Nicola. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Sarah and Seamus. Hello, Sheila. Hello, Susanna. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Terry. Susanna, can I just take this opportunity to wish Hanu a swift recovery? Hope he feels much better soon. And to any of you currently suffering from any kind of lurgy, well, you have my sincere sympathies and I hope you are feeling much, much better very soon. So how's everyone doing? There's Nicola talking about Timmy <laughs> demanding to know what you're eating for lunch, showed him an apple and off he went. Well, that's isn't that just typical cat? Oh, I'm, I'm interested. What is it you've got there? No, actually, no, this, this, this does not please me. Take it away. Uh, that, that, I'm afraid, is life with cats, isn't it? Brilliant. Oh, wonderful. Oh, hello, Colette, if I missed you. Hello to Ruthie as well. Splendid to see you all. Thank you, Suzanne. L Honey lemon, absolutely. It's it's pretty much uh, essential at this point. But uh, no, all is all is well otherwise. Um, just to kind of fill you in, we've got lots of discussions uh, at the moment going on about our three upcoming projects, which of course are the concert at Bristol Grammar School, where those of you who can make it in person are very welcome to come and sing. And those of you that can't make it but would like to join in, well, we will have uh, a couple of recording projects. I shall be teaching those next week. So we're going to be doing Jerusalem on Monday. This will all be officially announced on Friday and in, in the newsletter. But put it in your diary if you wish to uh, make a note. Monday's session will be Jerusalem by Parry. Wednesday is going to be Mozart's Ave Verum Corpus. And you might say, but we know that one. We've learned that one. Well, the band, for some reason... And this, I'm not going to argue with brass players because I, I, I don't know uh, as, as much as they do. They would rather play Ave Verum Corpus instead of in D. They would like to play it in E flat. So, which is fine, but it means we've got to put together a new video and I'm going to take the opportunity to teach it again, given that it was, well, one of the first classical pieces we taught on the channel. It feels nice to come full circle. So that will be Wednesday and more details about what's happening next week uh, when I see you on Friday. But we should start because we have some gorgeous, gorgeous music to learn. This piece by Franz Zeva Eisenhofer, um, otherwise known as Schlafe Süße Liebste, but we've translated it into English to Slumber Sweetly Dearest. It's great. So I think we should get started. Make sure you've got your drinks handy. I have my lovely coffee here. Mmm. Splendid. So, uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, helping me out today, what key we're in? F. Well, then let's sing Home Choir in the key of F. It's Kismet, it must be. So there's an F, an A, a C. Choose whichever note you like and sing Home Choir, and we can start the show. Nice deep breath and. Uh... <laughs> hearing your voices ladies and gentlemen and a very good afternoon welcome to the latest episode in our soon well soon to be long-running series the choral alphabet we've made it to week five and that means it is the letter e today it is e for eisenhofer a german composer who was born in 1783 and died in 1858 uh, so he was obviously a an early romantic composer uh, the style of his writing, though, is very, very much along the lines of Mozart and Haydn and early Beethoven. It's very, very lovely indeed. I'm afraid I can't tell you much more about him, or, or even anything more about him, uh, other than he wrote lots of music for Male Voice Choir, because there really isn't very much out there on the internet. But I would really welcome any messages from those of you that can find out anything more about today's composer. Now, next week, we're not going to have an episode of the Choral Alphabet. We're going to put it on hiatus for one week. When we come back, we'll will be there with the letter F. And uh, just just bear in mind, I have some fantastic music coming up on Choral Alphabet. So uh, we'll, the, the break for a week will be so that we can learn Mozart's Ivy Ferrum Corpus ready for our brass band concert. 
and then uh, we shall resume normal service after that. Now, Friday, of course, is uh, is something a bit different. We're not going to be singing. We have our third episode of uh, Artificial Intelligence and how it can actually help us make music. It's going to be a particularly interesting episode because I've found not one but two AIs that will take a photograph, turn that into data, and turn the data into actual music which is kind of mind-blowing. So join me on Friday for that. But in the meantime, let's crack on and learn this lovely piece of Eisenhofer. Let's start off with a warm-up. We do have some birthdays to celebrate today, so let's get standing and we'll sing happy birthday to the three people who are celebrating their birthdays today and tomorrow. Uh, that's Andrea, that's Pamela and Margaret. So Andrea and Pamela are celebrating their birthdays today and Margaret is celebrating her birthday tomorrow. So we'll sing for them in just a moment. But let's start off by... Taking a few nice deep breaths, in and out. Dear Mike has said he sent me a biography of Eisenhofer in German. Uh, okay, that's brilliant. <laughs> My German is not great. I'm sure I can work it out. Thank you so much, Mike. I really appreciate that. I knew I could count on my home choir elves to go and delve and find out about it for me. So we're going to roll our shoulders around. Wonderful. And once we've rolled them in one direction, of course, we roll it back the other way. And be gentle and kind to yourself. You deserve it, ladies and gents. Great. Bring your shoulders up to your ears. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, let your shoulders fall and relax. And keep relaxing those shoulders. Keep relaxing. Keep relaxing. Keep relaxing. Oh, doesn't it feel good to let the tension drain away from your shoulders? Sometimes all you need is permission. All right. So let's allow the tension to drain from our neck as well. Just relax that whole area so we are in the right frame of mind for this beautiful lullaby. Bearing in mind, if you were tense and stressed, it's not the time to be singing uh, a slumber sweetly song, is it? Really not. So let's roll our heads around. Stretch the neck muscles out, please, everyone. Just be gentle with yourselves. Good, good, good. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so let's start here. So let's sing ma, 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 ma with me and ma, 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 This piece does not go desperately high for any parts. It is, after all, a lullaby. Nobody wants to listen to a lullaby that is screeching away at the top of the stave. This is all very low and very, very sweet. And um, Before we sing happy birthdays, the elves are really working uh, really hard today. So we've got a great little biography developing here in the live chat. I'll read those comments after we've sung happy birthday to those three wonderful home choristers. So today uh, we are celebrating the birthday. Oh, hang on. It's gone. Ah, that's because I clicked on looking for the thing that Mike sent. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So it's Andrea's birthday today, Pamela's birthday today, and Margaret's birthday tomorrow. So it's Andrea, Pamela, and Margaret. And because there's lots of syllables, I think we're going to do this one live, ladies and gentlemen. There's your note after two. Or one, two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. happy returns to all three of you and thank you as always for being wonderful home choristers we do have more birthdays later this week but uh, we'll sing for them on friday so thank you to everyone in the comments who've been finding out about herr eisenhofer uh, who was born on november 29th 1783 in ilmunster in upper v bavaria uh, received his first music lessons in the benedictine monastery in schoen and at the gymnasium in neuburg Entered the Munich ceremony for a short time. From 1810, he was a sub-teacher the, and then taught in the grammar schools. Uh, fabulous. He was appointed Rector of Studies in Würzburg. Well, there we are. So we know a bit more about him. And thank you to Mike and to Nikki for going away and finding out about our composer today. Next challenge is, can you find a picture of him? 
send it to me and I'll replace the title card for today with a picture of uh, Herr Eisenhofer. Let's have a look at the piece. Let's bring it up on screen. The score, of course, is in the description. It's a Dropbox link and it's a free public domain score. I've created it, so please do feel free to share it. Uh, and we can see here, if I just quickly click through the slides, it is a short little piece. That's it, it's five systems, a total of 22 bars. And what I thought we could do, as we have time today, is first of all to listen through to the whole thing, and then we will teach it soprano, alto, tenor, bass, as usual. All right, uh, the one thing to say sopranos is there are a couple of little twiddles, as you can see here, that require a little bit of a, of a more limber voice, but we'll work on those. Most of the other parts, though, are relatively uh, straightforward and moderately static. Um, altos, I'm looking mainly at you. Let's sing this through, and if you'd like to sing along, you're welcome to. Otherwise, we'll let the uh, the Venice Corps sing this one. So here is, for the first time, this is a premiere, ladies and gentlemen, Slumber Sweetly Dearest. Enjoy. And there we are. Short, simple, and very, very sweet. Let's have a look at the soprano line for this one. What you will notice, as I say, because this is an arrangement from a piece that was, uh, that the piece originally was for uh, tenors and basses, uh, male voice choir. So that's why you sometimes get the alto part climbing above the soprano line, because the idea is that the tenors um, have, a, 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 well, the equivalent vocal ranges. I just thought some of the notes that were required of the altos would have been really rather unwelcome. So from time to time stops, your line will drop beneath the alto line. It's good experience from time to time to not always get the tune. <laughs> and I'm now waiting for a flood of sopranos disagreeing with me. Well, let's see. Let's go from the top, sopranos. And remember for everyone, a note for all of you, this is a lullaby. This is gentle, this is soft, nothing overly dramatic, nothing harsh, lovely and relaxed. So stops, we sing, two, three. Listen to the pitches. And you can see some of the phrasing here. Dearest, close thy weary eyes. If you can sing it with the dynamics as marked, that would be fantastic. Ready, sobs, two, three. Slow, sweet, Now, the next line has a little bit of our twiddle, twiddly D stuff going on. So let's look at the next two bars. Okay, guardian angels round thee hover. So it goes. Guardian angels round thee hover. Okay, just those two bars. We'll get to the twiddle in a minute. Listen again. Three, uh, two, three. Excuse me. One again. Two, three. Okay, then, so let's look at that slowly. Till the morn with me, and till the morn, and again, till the morn, again, till the morn. The point 
changes, the faster it goes, the lighter the note should be. Till the moon shall rise with me and till the moon shall rise. Let's do the whole phrase, Sops. Guardian angels. Two, three. Guardian angels round me over till the moon shall rise. Lovely. All with that lovely warm smile. And I know it gets quite animated uh, with those fast triplet semiquavers, but don't let it get too uh, boisterous there. It's still a lullaby. Oh, my love on airy pinions. And a little twiddle at the end sounds like this. Oh, my love. Nice little line, listen to it again. Two. Okay, sing with me, please. One, two. Oh, my love on any pinions. Excellent. Then my heart in rapture bound. And you can hear the way this is written. It really does. Uh, pay dividends if you lean on the strong beat and then die away on the weak beats. Bear thy heart. One, two. Bear thy heart in rapture bound. Fabulous. And people are saying the, the twiddles are a bit tricky. Just take your time. Sing it slowly. Ya da 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 da. If you build up the tempo, it will flow. But just remember, don't let it get heavy. Okay, to its own dominions, where no earthly care is found. So we've got another little twiddle here. Sounds like this soprano, so it is. To its own dominions, where no earthly care is found. Okay, listen to the pitches there, because that one does jump a little bit. Two. Nice little line that stop. Sing with me, please. To its own. Ready? Two, three. To its own dominions, where no earthly care is found. And then, excuse me, found where no earthly care is found. So that twiddle. So one. To ya ta 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 ta, ya ta 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 ta. Listen to it. Let's do it slowly. When earth, and again. When earth, one more time, and when earth, and when you sing it, as I say, the whole point is those fast notes, just decorated ways of getting from this note to that note. So. Found. Super stuff. Now let's uh, let's just go back and sing from to its own dominions. And the rest of you, alto tenor spaces, I'm sure you can see the sops get by far the trickiest line. Everyone else is supporting that tune for much of it. To its own dominions, please, everyone. This is bar thirteen, soprano line two, three, two. just got a couple of bars to go and you've done the hard work so far sopranos it is so much more straightforward sing with me please sops maiden sleep note the hairpins really do sing into those two three Fabulous. Now, Jen's pointed out there is a grace note at the start of bar 17. I'm going to say we omit that because um, there's enough twiddles going on. I think just leave that one out. And I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll make do with the twiddles that we have. Let's go through from the beginning, everyone. So this is the soprano sing-through. I'm going to make your parts a bit louder here, Sops. 
and uh, everyone else I shall be with you very, very shortly. So from the start, sops, altos, tenors, and basses. But this is all about the sopranos. So here we go, everyone. Nice deep breath. And ah. Thank you, Sops. It is a slightly tricky line with all those little twiddles, but I'm sure you'll agree it's worth it for that lovely effect at the end. So let's go back to the beginning. We'll look at the alto part now. No twiddles to, to worry about here, but a couple of places, uh, altos, where you do climb above the level of the soprano. So let's look at this first, uh, first line. A grand total of two different pitches. Uh, so we're back in fairly typical alto territory at the beginning. And so we sing two, three, slow. Sweetly dearest, close thy weary eyes. With me, please, Altos. Two, three. Slumber, sweetly dearest, close thy weary eyes. Excellent. And then, guardian angels round. Little twiddle for you. Have a listen to it again. Two, three. Okay, let's sing that together from Guardian. Two, three. Guardian angels round the over till the morn shall rise. Splendid. Now, carrying on. Together, one, two. And you've got some nice little dynamic variations here, some nice big hairpins. Uh, so let's come in forte and do observe the dynamics, please. Oh, may love on airy pinions, altos, one, two. Oh, may then to its own dominions when a worthy king is found listen and you hit that note on found found like that so to its own dominions one two three to its own dominions when a worthy king is found. And then, when a worthy king is found. Listen again. With me, one, two. When a worthy king is found. So with me, please, bar 19, 2, 3. Maiden, sleep, sleep in peace. 
wonderful. So let's sing it all the way through. The alto part from the top. Now we've got the altos here. Obviously, sopranos, uh, tenors, and basses will be with you very shortly. But this is all about the altos as we sing through. Let's make sure we can hear them nice and loudly above everyone else. So here we go. Basses, tenors, and altos with me. Nice deep breath. And Slumber, sweet sweet go everyone that's the alto line now let's go back to the beginning before we carry on with the tenors i did see a question flash past in the very fast moving chat from hillary the underlay of the words for the sops yeah it's a little bit tricky to see there but the clue um everyone is in the slurs you've got those three notes uh, slurred together and so there I hope that answers your question all right so let's go back to the start let's look at the tenor line I don't think there are any twiddles for the tenors and even fewer for the basses so tenors it is two three slumber sweetly dearest close thy weary eyes with me please two three slumber sweetly Super, we then drop to the F and we sing Guardian angels round the hover till the morn shall rise. So really nice little line there, just watching out for the B naturals, which are when we're moving up, and B flats when we're moving down. Have a listen to the pitches again, ten some guardian angels, bar five, two, three. Let's sing that together, please, shall we? Guardian angels, tenor line. Two, three. Guardian angels, round the hover till the morn shall rise. Splendid. Now, oh, may love and airy pinions, we start this a bit louder. So we sing, oh, may love on airy pinions bear thy heart. In rapture bound. Aren't these lovely lines? Really, really nice. Okay, let's sing that together. Oh, may love from the tenor line. Bar eight. One, two. Oh, may love on any pinions bear thy heart in rapture bound. Now we climb to this note and we sing to its own dominions where no earthly can is found. Okay, so listen to those pitches again to its own dominions. Two, three. Okay, fabulous. Let's sing that together to its own dominions. Two, three. To its own dominions, when our earthly care is found. Now, 
now. There is a slur connecting the found to where. Please disregard that. We'll come off with everyone else after found. We then sing. Where no earthly can is found. Nice little, fairly predictable tenor line. So, where no earthly care is found, please. Bar 16, one, two. Where no earthly care is found. And then the last two phrases, ten, as we sing. Vain sleep, sleep in peace. So, very much upper register for the first one, and then the lower register for the second phrase. Listen again. Two, three. Okay, so sing that for me from bar 19 tenors. There's the alto and sopranos if you want to sing along. Two, three. Maiden sleep, sleep in peace. And making that last note really, really warm. Not only is it the third of the chord, it's obviously a major chord, so it needs to shine brightly with your lovely tone. Okay, from the beginning, tenors, we've got the basses there. Be with you in just a minute, chaps. There's the tenor notes, alto, soprano, all about the tenors on this. Sing through. Let me just make sure the voice louder part is nice and loud. So let's put the tenors there, let's put the altos there, and let's go from the top. So once again, basses, tenors, altos, sopranos. Here we go, nice deep breath, and... Slumber, sweetly dearest, close thy weary eyes. Guardian angels run thee over till the morn shall rise. Oh, may There we are, tenors. Thank you so much, everyone. And last but not least, let's sing through the bass part, and then we can have one more sing through with everyone. So, bass is there, and we sing. Slumber sweetly, dearest, close thy weary eyes. With me, please, bass two, three. Slumber sweetly, dearest, close. Excellent. Then we drop down to the D and we sing Guardian angels round thee Over till the morn shall arise So quite a lot of pitches to get through there. Have a listen to it again from Guardian. Two, three. Just watch out again, as I said to the tenors, on the way up you've got the F sharp on the way down, generally speaking it's an F natural, so just make sure you're really clear about the difference between those two. Guardian angels please, places, bar five, two, three. Guardian angels run thee over till the morn shall rise. And then, nice and loud here. Oh, may to the pitches from O May Airy. One, two, and. Let's sing it together, please. O May Airy Pinions. One, two, 
And then to its own dominions, where no earthly care is found. Listen. Okay, with me, please. Faces to its own. Two, three. To its own dominions. Where no earthly care is found And then Where no earthly care is found Listen Let's sing together One, two Where no earthly care is found Brilliant, we don't sing the next two bars we sing, sleep in peace, or if you're a first bass, up to the F there. Okay, nice, I think, and straightforward. Let's sing it through with the bass part nice and prominent, and then one more sing after that with everyone singing the full thing. And as always, it's quite something to hear it at the start and then to hear it again when we've gone through all four lines. It really does come to life. And I hope you're enjoying this lovely piece. Uh, Christine's pointed out quite rightly the melody of this piece sounds similar to The Long Day Closes by Sir Arthur Sullivan, which is absolutely on the list to do at some point, probably later this year. It also reminds me, uh, it just in terms of the subject matter and even the style and a little bit of that lovely uh, evening prayer by... I mean, just the best com named composer ever, Engelbert Humperdinck. I'm not talking about the crooner with the big sideboards. The, the composer, Engelbert Humperdinck, from his Hansel and Gretel. And let's just say we're on E this week, F, G, H. Let's just see what happens, shall we? But it would be nice to sing that, wouldn't it? So basses from the start, there's your note. We've got the tenors, we've got the altos and sops. With me, please, bassos. Nice deep breath and... Slumber, sweetly, dearest, close thy weary eyes. Guardian angels round thee, hover till the Have it, ladies and gents. We have taught all four parts, so let us sing it through together one more time before we draw today's episode of the Choral Alphabet to a close. I do hope you've enjoyed it. It's a great pleasure putting this series together. Because apart from anything else, we will have a few well-known pieces, but it is a great opportunity for anyone out there who runs a choir, and I know many people involved in choirs watch this channel, um, to build up a repertoire of straightforward, lovely, fun little quick pieces that will uh, would really brighten up any concert program, uh, and I do hope that, that people out there find this useful. So let me give you your notes, basses, tenors, altos, sopranos, let's sing this through all together. Now let me just make sure the parts are all at the right level, because at the moment this is, the basses are going to be somewhat prominent. So there are those notes again, take a nice deep breath, and here we go, and... Yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed today. As always, it's a great pleasure to find these pieces, to record them, and then to teach them to all of you. And if you've enjoyed today, don't forget the thumbs up. Please do share this with anyone you think would appreciate it. There is, of course, no charge for home choir. They're very welcome to come along and sing with us. Now, I will see you on Friday for uh, another episode of our Can AI Write Music. Spoiler alert, not really but it's definitely making great steps if you've been looking at the news i mean chat gpt is everywhere google's just announced their own competitor to it so we are at the beginning of a really interesting new age i think in terms of its impact on us it's as big as the internet as big as the origin the um, mobile phone and the smartphone and the cloud this is a big step forward so i'm really keen to make sure home choir is at the cutting edge of ai in choral music so join me for that and on friday i'll be updating you about the upcoming events the uh, wonderful concert with the city of brass band um the uh, amazing celebration day piece which is moving ahead rapidly and of course the flash mob where we'll be seeing Zadot the Priest so keep an eye out on Friday for more information and if you miss it it's all there for you to watch when you can and of course the details will be in the newsletter as always enjoy your day everyone those of you celebrating your birthday happy birthday and have a good one those of you feeling under the weather big hugs hope you feel much better soon and I'll see you on Friday have a great week folks take care bye bye